Welcome back to the Now Cincinnati. We heard from Officer Darren Wilson for the first time in an exclusive interview with ABC. It's being met with some mixed reaction, though. My co host Ann McNamara breaks it down for us. Ferguson officer Darren Wilson says he's sorry for the loss of Michael Brown's life. He told ABC he wants to move on and live a normal life. Wilson got married since the August 9th shooting and shared he and his wife are expecting a baby. Here's his first interview since that grand jury decision. Something you think that will always haunt you? I don't think it's a haunting. It's always going to be something that happened. Wilson's account mostly contradicts the testimony of Dorian Johnson, the friend who was with Brown before, during, and after that fatal encounter. A Vox article contrasts the two. The sidewalk talk Wilson remembers as this. Hey, guys, why don't you walk on the sidewalk? But look at the difference in what Johnson remembers. He remembers get the, and obviously a curse word, on the sidewalk. Very different there. Let's look at the next one. The actual struggle at the car. Wilson says, I go to open my door, say, hey, come here. He said, what the blank are you going to do? He shut my door on me. Here's what D Johnson actually remembers. He said, he thrust his door open real hard. It hit mostly Big Mike, but it hit me on my left side and closed back on him like real fast. And then when it comes to the shooting itself also differing, Wilson saying after I fired the multiple shots, I paused a second, yelled at him to get on the ground again. He was still in the same state, still charging, hands still in his waistband, hadn't slowed down. Johnson, very different, saying, and I stood and watched face to face as every shot was fired. And as his body went down and his body never, his body kind of just went down and fell. So that is what Johnson says he saw. Michael Brown's parents speaking breaking their silence on national TV this morning. Leslie McSpadden and Michael Brown Sr. angry at Officer Darren Wilson's explanation of their son's death. Here's what they told this morning. And then in his, uh, his statement, he said, yeah, do it again. So his conscience is clear. His conscience How could your clear? conscience be clear after killing somebody, even if it was an accidental death? And, and to allow the body to lie there for exactly. four hours. Uh, that's I couldn't what... even, we couldn't even have my son organs donated. The family plans to pursue legal action against Wilson. A federal investigation by the U.S. Justice Department also underway. Back to you. All right, Ann, thanks. Well, people aren't only taking to the streets to protest that Ferguson decision. They're also taking to social media and digital producer Mary Kate's tracking this story as it, tr as it trends right now. Yeah, that's right. It was picking up speed yesterday, but now Twitter is flooded with protesters using the hashtag shut it down, literally meaning shut down the streets. One user, Wanda Johnson, posted this photo in Times Square of the protesters shutting the traffic down. And now tweets are pouring in with that hashtag, showing protesters invading high highways and blocking city streets like this one you see here of a woman kneeling down in the street with her hands up and another hashtag gaining momentum is boycott black friday where protesters are standing together to boycott one of the biggest shopping days of the year in order to economically influence change in the justice system and photos like this are surfacing all over in Twitter, Twitter and Facebook right now. It's interesting because I thought shut it down meant shut down the protests, but they mean shut down the highways and continue the protests. Absolutely. Well, Ferguson.